Since the introduction formalities between the families of the Awujale and paramount ruler of Ijebu land, Oba Kayode Sikuru Adetona, CFR, his wife, Olori Yolua Kemi Adetona, and the family of the Daramolas, which was the first step to the matrimonial journey between their children, Princess Sidikato Lua Kemi Adetona and Olarewaju Oladinro Daramola, took place in Ijebude earlier this year. The dates for the engagement, Fatia and the final wedding program had been properly circulated to all concerned stakeholders, family, friends and well-wishers. Therefore, it was not a surprise at all that the engagement ceremony, which took place at the expansive Awujale Pavilion opposite the palace in Ijebude on Saturday, 5th November 2016 was attended by people from diverse parts of the country and beyond where their Daytona and Daramola families enjoyed enormous goodwill and affection. With the entire environment draped in the coral and silver colors prescribed for the event on both sides, the Awujale and paramount ruler of Ijebu land Oba Eske Adetona and his wife, Oluriolua Kemi Adetona, played host to the high and mighty in the land. The traditional institution from Ogun State gave a huge support to one of their own, while Oba Lamidi Adeyemi, the Alafi of Oyo, and Oba of Lagos, Oba Rilwana Kionlu I, also gave solidarity from the royal corridors. Governor Ibikunle Amusu of Ogun State was supported by former governors Olusha Goshoba and Otumba Benga Daniel. President Muhammadu Buhari was represented by Dr. Kayode Faemi, the Minister of Solid Minerals and Steel Development. Also in attendance were heavyweight dignitaries like Otumba Adekunle and Erelu Ujualakbe Ojora, Sir Kesenten Adebutu, Alahaji Razak Okoya and wife, Chief Mrs. Folashade Okoya, Justice Adeshola Oguntade and wife, Chief Mrs. Mudikbola Oguntade, publisher of the Vanguard newspaper, Mr. Sam Amuka, and others. Amidst singing and dancing with music provided by the King of Fuji Music, Wasu Ainde Mashal, the event began with both members of the families stepping out to meet one another in a convivial atmosphere. The necessary first step to set the tone for the entry of the handsome groom, Olarin Waju Oladiron Daramola, and his friends, who all exuded top spirit. The groom, who is from Iresi, in the Boluaduro local government area of Oshun State, stood out admirably in the traditional wine color Ashoke attire with the right accessories. He quickly paid homage at the right quarters and got some prayers for the success of the marriage from his parents, parents-in-law, and other elders. <laughs> Princess Sidikat Detona and her friends joined the fray with a lot of joy in their hearts, which they all demonstrated through dancing. Princess Sidikat Ulua Kemia Detona, who looked very radiant, could also not hide the evident signs that before too long, both families will send out another invitation for all to rejoice with the family 
for the impending bundle or bundles of joy with which the young families will be visited. Princess Kemi Aditona was all smiles as she exchanged pleasantries with everyone. <laughs> She connected with her husband, they exchanged engagement rings and some love notes before they both cut the engagement cake. Both spiritual and temporal, by the power of find a me to coordinate this program together with Chapa Yokoto. We want to pronounce both of you, announce both of you, decree that you shall be known, call and address Mr. And uh, Mrs. Olare Waju Oladi Ro Bami De Le Da Ra Mo La Eshe King of Fuji Music, Wasu Ainde Mashal, began to unleash his inimitable music fireworks that got everyone dancing, beginning with the mother of the bride, then the couple, who had changed to another dress. Wasu Ayinde Mashal kept everyone on their toes, dancing, for a very long time, until the end of the engagement ceremony between Princess Kemi Aditona and Olarewaju Daramola. <laughs> Sunday, the 6th of November 2016, witnessed the spiritual aspect of the marriage between Princess Daytona and Olari Waju Daramola. Ijebude Central Mosque was venue for the Fatia. Dignitaries turned out in the champagne and gold colors, the designated color code for the day. Muslim clerics came out in large numbers to be part of the proceedings. 
Headlining the dignitary list was former President Olusha Gumobasanjo, who flew straight to the event from Sokoto, where he had gone for the Sultan's coronation anniversary. The Emir of Kano, His Royal Highness Muhammad Sanusi I. Africa's richest man, Alahadi Aliko Dangote, Kaduna State Governor, Malam Nasru El Rufai, who all came to the event from the Sultan's 10th coronation anniversary in Sokoto State. <laughs> After the Islamic clerics had soaked the couple in prayers and blessings, they were asked to exchange rings under the watchful eyes of the clerics. <laughs> The couple went round to exchange pleasantries and got blessings in return from the audience. It's the prayers of both families, the Aditoner and Daramola families, represented by the mother of the groom, Mrs. Bamidele Daramola, Mrs. Folakemi Daramola, the groom's sister, and Mr. Dele Daramola, who represented the groom's father, Chief Joshua Bamidele Daramola, that God will make the wedding a successful one. I know it's very difficult for you because she's by far the sweetest, kindest, most beautiful person that I will come to know. But we know how much you love Adeto. But it is time, Kabesi, to let her go so that Alare Waju will look after her. The president joins you in praying for Adeto to have every happiness in her marriage to Lanre. He wishes you well. He prays for you to have long life, good health, more wisdom, and prosperity for Ijebuland. So, Larry, congratulations. Uh, the last time I saw you, you were still doing your master's in accounting in the UK, um, taking care of the Awujale, and I know, um, like Nasu said, he's going to miss you, but we trust you in very good hands. Uh, and we are not giving you up. We are, you, you're marrying a husband, but you're still our daughter. <laughs> so, uh, time to cut the cake, ladies and gentlemen. So, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Congratulations. <laughs> May God bless the marriage and guide the steps of this young couple as we prepare for the wedding, which will take place at the prestigious ballroom of the magnificent Oriental Hotel, Victoria Island, Lagos, on Sunday, 12th November. 2016.